Hello, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here doing your nightly reading a little bit early, you guys. Your girl's got some big plans for today, okay? Um, but, yeah, I'm being led to use the flash deck. So, whatever comes out, comes out, okay? Just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for the likes and all of the confirmations and the comments. You guys know I love the comments, right? <laughs> and um, welcome to everybody new here. Hi. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? What's going on? All right. Ooh, boy. I don't like this. It's given me there's a snake on the bus. Okay, so there's um, a Judas. There's a Judas energy around you. Okay, trying to stir up chaos and uh, drama in your life. Um, they, I feel like I wanted to say karma. So I feel like this person is about to get some karma for this. They're, um, they're pretending to be, like, say if you're a spiritual being, they're pretending to be spiritual. They're pretending to be... Um, to believe in what you're saying. They're pretending to support you. I don't know. You have a Judas around you. Okay, that's what this is. And I feel like they're taking information about you and giving it to other people, maybe your enemies. Okay, so this is a sneaky person around you. I feel like Spirit wants you to be alerted to that on the bottom of the deck. Yes, Spirit has been giving you messages about this person, Cancer. This could be someone in your family, someone who's very close to you, okay? You've known them for a long time. You've known this person for a long time, or you've known about this Judas around you for a long time, okay? Yeah, they're taking information about you to other people, so I feel like spirit is like giving you a warning, like this person's got to go. They've, yeah, they got to hit the road, Cancer. Okay, they've got to hit the road or you may need to move to a new location. Okay, take it how it resonates, but this person is a rat. Okay, this is somebody who's talking to your enemies, laughing about you, spreading gossip about you. They could be getting information that you don't want them to have and you don't want out there. Okay? I mean, like, hopefully this person doesn't, like, know where you bank or know the security code to your home. Things like that. Okay? I feel like this person, um, this is a big warning, Cancer, that this person, seriously, they got to go. They're under judgment. Okay? And you're a divine being. They could be talking to someone, giving someone your information who's literally dreading, um, dreading bumping into you or facing you. Somebody, whoever this is that they're talking to and giving your information to, it's an enemy. It's somebody who's hurt you. And this is someone who's very close to you in your inner circle that's doing this to you. This is a rat. They've got to go. I'm telling you, you're, you're, you're actually the greatest of all time here. This is a divine being card. Okay. And, um, yeah, they're laughing at your spirituality. They're mocking you. They're making fun of you. This could be someone close to you in your family. They're making you look like a fool or trying to. This is a big joke. There's a lot of communication going on here. Okay, you could even be doing something online. They could be talking and laughing about that. And I feel like you're accomplishing great things and they're still trying to make it a joke. They're mocking your spirituality. This is a Judas. This is a snake on the spiritual bus, okay? This could be somebody that is trying to tempt you off of your path, because I'm seeing this as your path. The snake is temptation. Spirit is warning you to stay on your path. I feel like the more you're around this person, 
the more they try to tempt you into doing toxic things, like maybe talking about people behind their back. Or um, I don't know. I don't know what they're tempting you into doing. It could be anything, eating bad food. It could be something simple as that. Okay? Going to places where you don't want to go. Things like that. Okay, I feel like, yeah, and you, Spirit wants this for you, okay? They want the Ten of Cups for you. This is your rainbow. They want happiness for you. This person could be taking advantage of you as well. This could be somebody that you help to support. This could be somebody who um, constantly wants to borrow money from you or something like that. Maybe this is somebody who stays in your home. This could be home as well. It could be a roommate. It could be a family member. And spirit is like, you've got to get this person away from you. Basically, yeah, cut them out. This is what I just saw. Cut them off. Cut them off. They're, mark they're um, mocking your spiritual beliefs. They're laughing at you. They're making you a joke um, behind your back. Um, blabbing your personal information. Yep, and that's what they're doing. This is exposure. Blabbing your personal information to your enemies, Cancer. I am telling you, this is unpredictability here with this one. Okay, so maybe this is this could be somebody that you would never expect to do this. Okay, I'm kind of getting the sense that you've been getting warnings about this person, though. Like, spirit is really stressing this. They're like, hey, that snake is on the bus, right? What would you do if you were on this bus and there was this big snake there? Even though it's, it, it's just a California king snake, they're, they're harmless, okay? But still, I mean, in reality, what would you do? If you saw this, you would get up and you would get off, you know, like get out of there, right? You, I feel like spirit wants you to stay away from this person around you. Okay? It's a Judas. It's a Judas spirit or a Judas energy off of this person. They're toxic. Yeah, get like get away from them, Cancer. Spirit may be um, urging you to make a move, a location change. Like you may have to move to get away from this person. But spirit does not want you there anymore. And this is a water bottle. That's that spiritual uh, spirituality, your spiritual beliefs. Um, they want you to stay on your path here, Cancer. This is the bike path. They want you to stay on your path and keep having faith in the divine. And this person, um, I don't know, I feel like, too, they confuse you, they take advantage of you, and then they brag about it to your enemies. This enemy, just the way I laid the cards, it's giving me, like, um, something bad could happen to this person. Okay? Something very bad could happen to them. Um... Yeah, they're the, whoever is still laughing at you, mocking the divine and mocking your spiritual beliefs, they're about to get some really bad karma. Like, really bad. Okay? I'm also seeing that you need to cut... Um, there's th these two people here you need to cut out. I feel like one you already did. That's an enemy of yours, a backstabber. Okay? But they. I feel like spirit is urging you to cut them both out of your life. All right? You may feel sick or fatigued around this person when they're around you. They may make you feel like you're walking on eggshells. You're going to definitely feel like, like physical feelings that you get around this person. Either it, they make you really tired or they may, may make your stomach sick. Okay, that's just a sign for someone. Okay, yeah, but you're in this divine feminine energy spirit. It's like, stand up, man. Okay, take a stand. Figure out who this rat is around you. I feel like you're going to know that you've been getting messages and signs already. Okay, but spirit wants you for sure to know this. 
I feel like it's a warning. Yeah. And then there's the there's the divine. What else can you show me for cancer? Yeah, I, it could be a, a man that's doing this, okay? It could be a, a masculine energy that's doing this. But I feel like um, they've tried to fool you. They've tried to pretend that, they're, that they've got your back, right? When they're actually stabbing you in the back. That's what this is. Um, I feel like they come in and out of your life. So this could be somebody who comes to visit a, a lot and then leaves. Or you like they've got a, maybe they have a busy schedule and you don't see them that much, but every time they're around you, they ask you for something, they need something, or they're asking you for information about what you've been doing, okay? Um, and they, they're making you feel kind of sick, queasy, tired, exhausted, fatigued. You could get headaches around this person as well, especially if you're an empath, okay? I mean, you've got some spidey senses here, Cancer. You've got um, very strong intuition, divine feminine energy, a divine being. So I know you've picked up on the signs of who this person is. And I feel like they come and ask you for things or ask for help or um, they're in and out. When you need them, they're not there. Like, where are they? They're not giving anything to you. They're just taking from you and being very fake. Okay. All right. So what else can you show me for cancer? So you've got a Judas around you. Yeah, Spirit is saying, say goodbye to this person. Yep. They need to go, Cancer. I'm telling you. What else can you show me? It's a big warning for you, Cancer. Yeah, they come around for money. They're in and out. I, I kind of get the sense they're in and out. Okay, they, they come around wanting money from you. Money, 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 money. I feel like that's why this person is around you. Okay, but then they're in and out of your life. They come in fast, get the money, leave. Get your information, leave. They only take from you, Cancer. This, this person's got to go. They've got to go. Okay, so what else can you show me for Cancer? messages for cancer and you could give this person a lot of money and then they they leave and they go and they laugh about you and make fun of you behind your back you've been helping this person cancer and they go behind your back and turn you into a joke or try to to your enemies man you don't know, you may have to move to get away from this person. Yeah, they are not for you, my darling. Okay, they're not for you. And I feel like spirit wants you to see that, okay? And I feel like you've tried. You've tried to keep things balanced out. You've tried, you know, you've been picking up on the messages, but maybe, I don't know, you were giving this person the benefit of the doubt or something, but no, this Judas is not for you, Cancer. Spirit can see and hear what they're saying about you behind your back, okay? And they're, they're like, I feel like they betray you every day. And they, they laugh about it while they take your money or whatever you've got. I don't know. Yeah, it needs to change. Okay, it needs to change. I feel like, too, this person, they're going to get their karma for doing this. And I feel like it's going to be really bad karma. Okay? Yeah, and I feel like it's someone 
who comes to your home. Maybe they're in and out of your home. This could be a roommate, a family member, okay? Um, a good friend that visits a lot. Take it how it resonates. I I'm also feeling like spirit is trying to urge you to possibly make a house move, a location change. You know, leave this person behind, right? Because seriously, they're, they're, they're all nice and sweetie sweet when they come to you with their hand out. But I'm telling you, as soon as they leave, they're stabbing you in the back. You got a Judas around you. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this. It's a quick reading, you guys. Um, but yeah, I, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, Cancer. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.